Welcome for Wednesday here. Well, we have to talk about nutrition. And we have with us Deborah Ayodeji. She's a clinical dietitian and also a member of the Nutrition Society of Nigeria and the Nutrition Society UK. Now, her core focus is working with clients to adopt healthier eating habits to improve their health conditions. Deborah, you are welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you once I said again. something about your beautiful teeth, but I'm not going to repeat <laughs> it, although I just did. <laughs> but welcome. So our topic today, healthier eating. How is that a thing for an African man whose staple is rice, pounded yam, yeah. and all the rest? <laughs> to eat healthier in Nigeria, you have to spend more. Word. And you have to also factor in the fact that we don't have power, so our refrigerators don't work, so we can't even be vegan or vegetarian. But I'll let you do all the analysis. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, of course, healthy eating, like we said, um, as over the years, what you eat can affect you and as you age and all. Um, you mentioned an African man who yeah, his main major staple is like pounded yam and all that. But I think um, the focus of uh, African foods are mainly like increased in our portion sizes is a part of our problem, increased in portion sizes. And then um, we tend to take more of our carbohydrate foods and focus less on the quality of our foods. Mm. Um, we've discussed over the weeks, um, you know, what this inadequate diet consists of, should consist of your carbs, your protein, your fats in the right amount. Mm -hmm. So an African man who wants to still eat his pounded yam can still eat it. Can still eat it, but, but we are looking at portion size. Yes, we consider that portion size, and we are considering having other nutrients on your plate that that would you know provide your body the nourishment it needs. Okay. Now so. let's let's talk about that portion size some more. Okay. And carbs especially because yes. Our, most of our African foods, Nigerian foods, are mostly carbs. Okay. Now, is there a specific or is there a right time to have your carbs during the course of the day? Should I have them earlier or later? Personal experience, if I have it later, I'm bloated in the morning. Morning, okay. So Actually, um, you should have carbs at every meal, like, um, like I said. Um, I would say, yeah, uh, it depends on the kind of your work you do. Like uh, someone that is more active, could, should have like a bit more carbs because of you know provides energy, but fats also provide you with more energy. So the key thing is that uh, depending on your nature of work, depending on how active you are, um, you can work with that. But the key thing is to have a balance on your plates. Is to have your carbs, have your protein, have your fats. Um, all in one, one plate, and then your vegetables, your fruits and vegetables. So to bring it home, yeah. let's use a typical African, Nigerian, Nigerian meal yes. that everybody can understand, okay, yes. this is the right portion for okay. my eba, or rather, pounded yam for instance. Yam. How much yeah. of that? One okay. mole or two? <laughs> um, well, we use palm size, so uh, I, would, I would say, okay, your own palm size, you can use for example, I would say your age and all, you can say, yeah, yeah you can use a palm size. So there it is, there it is. <laughs> For men, it can be two. For women, it can two. be one. So that two, two is okay, because yes. I can't even do more than one. Uh -huh. one. One is okay for me. Yes. So now that's the cab, yeah? That's your carbs. Then moving on to your protein. So <coughs> like we said, it's good to have your animal source of protein because they provide you with the um, essential amino acids that your body needs. Um, so we have a lot of um, animal protein, so you can do fish, um, you can do um, your poultry, your white meats. You can do seafood, which is not really explored, you know, because... And very anyway, expensive. Because, <laughs> yeah. Well, so it also depends on your income. <laughs> preferably, what would you advise for protein? Okay, for protein, I would advise fish, more fish, fish because um, it also provides you with your omega-3 fatty acids, okay. which is good for the body. And over time, you know, it's anti-inflammatory and all, like we discussed last week. And you have too much fish? Um, no, you can't have too much fish. And I have too much meat. <laughs> but you can have too much protein in general, yes. So the main thing is to have an adequate amount of protein, like we said. Um, uh, that also depends on your individual needs. So I wouldn't say, I can't say a general one now, but um, it depends on, you know, how your age, your, your lifestyle mm -hmm. and all that. But the key thing is to have your animal and your plant proteins, you know, in a meal. So for a, a conventional meal of your beans should contain your beans and your fish or your beans okay. and... Um, yeah, crayfish is another good, okay. you, yeah, so you should have, you know, that mix for it to be complete. Okay. So, you know, our conventional meals, some of us just have like beans and pap, plain beans and pap. Yeah. You don't have, beans you don't add your... Uh, Sometimes beans and bread. Beans and bread, yeah. So, but bread. basically, even beans is, is majorly carbs. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, oh, <laughs> slow down. What'd you say? Beans is majorly cabs? Yes. I've been yes, lied to my that. entire life. <laughs> sorry, let's go back to primary school. You're confusing me because the truth is, I thought that beans was mostly protein. Protein, okay. Is it mostly protein? Uh, no, it's actually, it actually contains carbs. And um, of course, it's, it has protein, but um, with more of carbs. Mm-hmm. And but when, when we say you should take it, you have to be careful of the quantity you take. So how so, much beans is okay? Um, well, a cup of beans, I would say, um, well, how would I describe that? Maybe like... Um, Okay, you can still use your palm like set. A serving spoon. Yes, yeah, serving spoon. One serving spoon is okay. Yes, one or two serving spoons. Wow, I, I would like to make a shout out to all the girls <laughs> of Max FM who are beans and sonadas. <laughs> and of course, we they have don't different eat types just of one, beans. One serving. You guys, are you guys listening now? Yeah, and we, we have different types of beans, so not just utilize our oloi olotu. We have your know, black eyed beans, kidney beans. Okay. You know, um, green peas. They are all other legume families. So wow. you should have a variety of meals, and which is very important in terms of our Nigerian meals. Some people feel that. We don't have foods, we just have, you know, carbs, but we do have a lot of um, a variety of foods in Nigeria. Agriculture is something that is very key in our country. So um, what is your jury saying about uh, rice? About rice. <laughs> and then the argument is still out of, uh, between basmati rice and regular rice. Uh, regular rice. Actually, well, um, science says that there's not actually much difference between... Booyah! <laughs> Excuse <laughs> me, can you guys rice. hear this? Everybody, can you hear <laughs> MM, everybody out there? Basmati rice and regular rice are practically the same, the same thing. I've been yes. saying this for years because I'm a botanist. They okay. don't take it from me. Now you've heard it from the nutritionist. <laughs> Sorry, I have to find this yeah, one. Yeah, they're actually, if you look at the nutritional composition, they're almost the same thing. So um, people that are saying that they are, more, they are going for basmati rice, they are still, still it's still more rice. of like, still yeah. rice. So the best thing is to even go for our local rice, which is more whole grain, okay. um, contains more fiber, um, Good, especially for diabetics and all that. Um, for for your rice to, like I said, everything depends on your individual needs. So um, the, the, the key thing is to let let's say you have a full plate now. A quarter of your plate should be your maybe your rice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Quarter of your plate, but make sure you're infusing things like your vegetables in it. Mm-hmm. So if you're doing jollof rice, make sure you add a lot of vegetables like your green peas, mm-hmm. your carrots. You know. I say up a little bit, nah. not just plain. So we are out of time, but oh, okay. real quick, lastly, very, very quick. Yeah. When is the best time to quit eating for the day? To so quit eating? Well, we say at least by 7 p.m. By 7 p.m. Yeah. All right, fantastic. There okay. you heard it, people. Thank you very much, Debbie, for coming in. It's, yeah. I've learned so much now than I had <laughs> all through my primary school years and my secondary school years because they lied to me. Oh. <laughs> thank you very much for the clarification. Yeah, thank and thank you. you very much for staying tuned to see. Do stay tuned. We've got more even more inside of Wake Up Nigeria.